synthetic organic compounds are widely used around us, like herbicides, pesticides, pharmaceuticals, and dyes. Most of them are toxic and harshly degraded by bell system, we call bell reconstituents. They tend to accumulate in nature, posing severe health risks to humans and the entire ecosystem. Wastewater from generating and using these organics is a big public concern, which causes a wide range of environmental problems. Conventional biodegradation is used in most wastewater treatment plants. However, it shows slow kinetics to degrade these organics due to the bio reconstituents and toxicity. Physical treatments such as absorption and filtration can transfer contaminants from water to another phase, but they're still remaining in the environment. Advanced oxidation processes include photocatalysis, a robust to destroy bioreconstituents organic structure, which at the same time require very high energy or oxidant input, so it's very expensive. Because of this, we need a new technology which can economically degrade and mineralize the bioreconstituent and the toxic contaminants in the water. Our research goal is to perfectly combine the advantages from both photocatalysis and biodegradation and let them simultaneously happen in a photocatalytic circulating bed biofilm reactor we call it PCBBR. In the ideal case, UV-induced photocatalysis breaks down bioreconstituents and toxic compounds into biodegradable products while biodegradation efficiently mineralizes these products at the same time. The major technical challenge of ICPB is to make photocatalysis and biodegradation occur closely. Because UV and free radicals generate from photocatalysis severely inhibit and even kill bacteria. We develop a novel TL to coated biofilm carrier to solve this challenge to advance the concept of ICPB. In brief, we coated TLO2 particle on the surface of microporous carrier, and then we cultivated biofilm onto and inside coated carriers. During the ICPB process, bacteria grown on the carrier surface is eliminated by photocatalysis, while the biofilm from the inside is protected from the harsh environment and further mineralized biodegradable products. In our study, photocatalysis removed the color of reactive dyes by breaking the edo bonds. While biofilm inside carrier further mineralized the contaminants by reducing the effluent COD. We also propose a pathway to investigate the underlying mechanism of ICPB process. If you want to know more about this study, please visit Biotechnology and Bioengineering website for our paper. Thank you.